today's how-to section, we're going to cover the F boxes, also known as the black boxes. These are the bits of information you can get in the bottom right-hand part of the screen when you're racing. Uh, lots of really cool information in there and really important stuff to help make you a faster and safer racer. Enjoy! Here we are in a multi-class open practice session. We're going to cover the first black box or F box that uh, comes up when you join a session. Uh, the F1 box shows up by default and it has lots of pertinent information to what's going on track right now. Lap is uh, the lap that you're completing. What are we running now? We're on our seventh lap in this session. Position. Uh, we're in eighth position and in a practice session position is based on your actual lap time not where you are physically on the track. Remaining. That's how much time is left in this session. We've got uh, just over 10 minutes to go before this session ends. Current. That's our current lap time. Uh, running at uh, 240 something. We were in the pits for a bit and that's why the time's so high. Last, we'll show a lap time of the last lap that you completed. We didn't finish a lap on the last effort so uh, that's blank but as soon as we finish a full lap that'll be populated with a time. And finally in the bottom right, best. That's our best lap of the session by time. It tells us uh, it was lap number two and it was a 139.089. That covers the F1 box in a practice session. So the F functions change when you're in a race session. As you'll see right now, we're using the default F1 box in the lower right-hand corner of the screen. You'll notice there's some additional information up on that box that you didn't see in the practice session. Uh, on the top, you'll see the remaining session time, which is the uh, overall time left in the session. Uh, and then you'll go to a lap, you'll see that you're on lap number three with uh, 13 laps to go. And of course your position is, uh, is third place. Uh, new to this menu uh, during the race is the fact that uh, we display the ahead and behind menus. So it lets you know what driver's ahead of you and how far, and what driver's behind you and how far back. Of course the plus indicates that they're ahead of you on the track and the minus indicates that they're behind you. Next up is the F2 box. This is labeled standings and this tells us how we are doing compared to everybody else on track. We're still in a practice session, multi-class. A couple of things to go over here. On the right, right column is our lap times. Uh, far left column is the place we're in and the column that's highlighted in colors is actually your car number and that helps identify some cars that are around you. The reason there's two colors highlighted here is because it's multi-class and there's two different classes. So, uh, by default, it shows up as showing everybody on track, uh, and you can cycle through using the up and down arrows. So we'll cycle down, and there you can see me currently last. Uh, hopefully we'll, we'll pick up speed and, and get a little faster. You can also cycle using your left and right arrow keys on your keyboard if you just want to look at a class. That's the other class that's running here, the MX-5 class, and you can see just their times. Usually you might want to switch to your class to see where you are compared to the people you're actually racing. Uh, to get back, use your left and right arrow keys and you will go back to the default and show everybody on track. And again, up and down arrow keys lets you cycle through to find yourself. The F2 standings menu changes as well during a race session. Uh, among other information, it displays the order in which the drivers are currently uh, on the track racing. Uh, Kevin right now is in third place and it also displays how much time behind they are from the leader. So Kevin right now is about two and a half seconds back and then of course the second place car is under a second back from the leader and so on and so forth down the list. Again this displays an order that you are racing currently right now on screen. Uh, it also displays in the lower left hand corner the current lap that you're on and then uh, on the right hand side your last lap. Again not your best lap but this is just your last lap time. The F3 screen, the relative screen, is next up on our list. Think of this as a spotter. The information displayed lets you know where you are physically on the track compared to other cars. If you see me there, car number three, uh, above me, listed above me uh, with a positive time, those cars are in front of me, and the cars listed below me with a negative time are behind me. So the car that directly behind me is 14 and a half seconds behind me. And the car in front of me is 21 seconds, 20 seconds in front of me. This is a really important screen to use in sessions with multiple cars. 
It really helps keep you out of trouble, lets you know where other cars are. If you spin off the track, always check your F3 screen, make sure you're not coming back when, when somebody else is coming by. When you're exiting pit lane, same thing. Take a look at the F3 screen and you'll know uh, when it's safe to enter the track. This is a screen that I use almost exclusively when I'm, when I'm racing. Don't even worry about F1, I just want to know where everybody else is. Uh, that way I'm a good, clean, safe racer. During a race, the F3 relative function uh, menu changes. The most noticeable change is the colors of the drivers. You'll see that the drivers are showing up on this screen in blue and white. Uh, yellow indicates that that is you. Uh, a, a white color indicates that you're on the same lap with those other drivers, so you're battling for position. Uh, when you see a blue driver, uh, they are down a lap compared to you, so they're not an immediate threat to your position on track. Uh, and then if you see any uh, drivers in red, uh, they are up a lap from you. In other words, if you see a red driver, that means you are down a lap to that driver. So again, not an immediate threat to position that you're on. Uh, also, you'll notice that in the lower left-hand corner displays your lap that you're currently on, and then your last lap that you're on as well. So again, the menus don't change too much during the race, but uh, there are a few uh, noted differences. The F4 screen deals with fuel. In cars that you can refuel, you'll see that uh, an option to add fuel to, at the next pit stop. You see how many estimated laps or estimated uh, gallons you have left in the car, and then estimated lapses below that. To, uh, if you want to add fuel at your next stop, you leave the, the box there with a check in it. If you want to turn fueling off, you press the space bar and that turns the box off. Put the uh, check box there and you can adjust how much fuel you want to put in the car by using the left and right arrow keys. Left brings it down, right puts more fuel in. You can do this while you're driving, you can do it on the starting grid, you can do it on your way into the, the pit box. The other interesting thing to note is that if you start fueling the car, say, all the way, and you realize you only want to put a couple of gallons in, while it's fueling, if you, hit, if you press the space bar, it'll stop fueling pretty much instantly, and then you can get back out on track, assuming any other changes to the car are already completed. F5 deals with tires. The information here is about tires that you're going to put on at your next pit stop. All the boxes here are checked, which means we're going to change all four tires. The PSI that's displayed is what will be in the new tire, uh, cold PSI. You can uh, toggle through the different tires to make changes by using the up and down arrows. If you want to not change a tire, press the space bar. Change your mind, press it again. If you'd like to change the PSI on the new set of tires, left and right keys do that for you. Again, this is changing uh, the, the tires that are going to go on your car. You can do this all the way up until you stop in the pit box. The F6 black box deals with tire info. Uh, left front, right front, left rear, right rear. The most important thing to note about this box is this information uh, deals with the tires you just took off the car. This is not real-time data. There's no way we can give you real-time uh, wear or temperatures. That's just not something we provide. So this has to do with how the tires were when they came off the car. Temperatures across, left, center, and right. Uh, the percentage is how much of the tire was left. So the left front tire had 91% left when we, when we changed the tires last. The right rear had 93% left. The F7 box is your pit stop adjustments. These are things that you can adjust on your car when you come into the pit stop. You're, think of it as things your crew can do to your car when your car is physically stopped. Uh, not every car has options here, and the cars that do, a lot of them are different. To make adjustments, you can do it while you're driving or on your way into the pit lane. You use the left and right keys, and you can make adjustments. If there were multiple options, you would cycle through them using the up and down keys, and then left and right to change the settings. The F8 box is in-car adjustments. These are things that you can physically change while you're driving, if you're so bold. On this truck, you can change the brake bias. You do so by using the left and right arrow keys. If you had multiple options, you would use the up and down arrows to cycle through them, and then again, left and right makes the changes. 
Thanks for watching iRacing TV. See you on the track.